Night 2 of Sean's Halloween Horror Reviews and in better quality tonight because it was crap quality last night, I know. For night 2 I'm going to review the 1990 horror, Misery. Nobody knows you're here and you better hope nothing happens to me. Because if I die, you die. Misery stars James Caan and Kathy Bates with supporting cast of Richard Farnsworth, Francis Sternhagen and Lauren Bacall. The plot centres around Paul Sheldon, who is played by James Caan. He's a novelist who has been spending most of his life writing these novels uh, based on a character called Misery Chastain. Kathy Bates' character, Annie Wilkes, is a huge fan, his number one fan to the obsessive level. He finishes writing his last Misery novel, and after he's finished, he's driving through a snowstorm, crashes, and is left for dead, basically. But Annie Wilkes comes along rescues him, brings him back to her house and takes care of him because she's been a nurse. This movie earned Kathy Bates an Oscar. She was a huge Broadway actor before um, before she made it into film, but this film is what made her as an actor. The first time you see her um, become sort of, I'd say, crazy is when she's feeding him soup. And it's just, they're talking about language and, you know, how people shouldn't swear. And it, she just sort of snaps, and that's when you're like, oh, she's not suddenly this nice person that we've seen for the past five minutes or so. As the plot develops, he ends up being trapped in this room that she has him in. She, not, she won't let him contact any of the outside world, and so it's him. It's, it's very, a very claustrophobic sort of, sort of sense, really, um, of him trying to escape and get back to normal life. Although the main plot um, centres around Annie and Paul, there is a bit of a subplot with um, the sheriff, Buster, and his wife, Virginia. Well, mostly on Buster. I love the chemistry between Buster and his wife, Virginia. Um, it sort of gives, like, the, there's sort of the comic relief of, um, of the entire movie. I think it, the relationship that goes on between Paul and Annie, it's sort of complete opposite of what Buster and Virginia are there. And I think that's why they're put in the movie for that. To sort of be like... A really horrible relationship situation thing going on here. Oh look at the old couple. The relationship between Annie and Paul as the film progresses, it's sort of... Oh, it's very unique, I think. James Caan's character in this is brilliantly portrayed because it's that he shows... It starts off as sort of, you know, oh this nice woman's taking care of me. He shows fear and resilience all in one go, if you know what I mean. Like, he's able to show that he's sort of afraid of Annie, but at the same time, he's giving her the middle finger at the same time. Annie's character, for me anyway, seemed as, as completely psycho as she is. I think there's a hint of innocence, really, that she thinks that the world is this certain way, people shouldn't swear, but at the same time she's willing to hobble someone's legs. You can really feel the sort of claustrophobia for Paul throughout the movie, and it sort of builds up, and whenever... It, it, he does develop somewhat, I suppose, of a friendship with Annie. There's no question at all why Kathy Bates got the Oscar for this role. She is both comedically brilliant and terrifying all at the same time. She sort of gives hints of her past, and that sort of makes you feel sorry for her in a way. That's a very great sense of pity, really. The chemistry between James Caan and Kathy Bates in this movie is just unreal. I mean, the two of them are a comic duo, really. Like any, like just look at the amount of parodies that has been spun off through Misery. Two that that come to mind are the French and Saunders skit and uh, Family Guy. I mean, uh, like it's just brilliant writing. The novel is written by Stephen King, but the screenplay was written by William Goldman. In the novel, Stephen King has Annie in a more sort of torturous sort of role. She ends up cutting off his thumb and his left foot. The scariest moment in this movie is also the most iconic um, scene of this movie as well. Now it's not particularly scary, it's more shock value for me and that is the hobbling scene. I'd definitely give this five stars. I mean there is no question whatsoever that this would be five stars for me. So definitely if you have not seen this movie, I don't know where you've been if you're a horror fan, Definitely rent it, buy it, do whatever you want to it for Halloween, but definitely give it a go. That's night two done of Sean's Halloween Horror Reviews, and I will see you tomorrow for another one. See yous!